yes I had to pop out this morning due to the fact that I actually had to have blood tests so I did my 30 minute tidy up which included making the beds washing the breakfast pots up I did my 10 item pickup and I did some laundry before I actually went out um, to my um, surgery to have my blood tests um, it it was actually having um, to wait outside in the queue actually although I got my appointment as a lot of us have um, it's still a matter of waiting outside because they only allow so many in but at least when they called me I didn't because there was quite a few in chairs separately um, inside the surgery but at least then I um, got taken straight in I was expecting having to sit down but no I went straight in have my blood test by the time that had done, because I walked there and then waited um, about half an hour outside um, and it's still quite um, hot. And um, so I popped into B&M afterwards, which is actually next door to our surgery, just for the fact that I needed um, a couple of items. Um, the grocery items, so I got this sugar, I think this was 65 pence. So not really exciting, but there you are. Um, I got some ham for our son's packing up. I think this was something like £1.85 or £1.89. Um, wanted to get some quavers. Um, these actually, on the ticket, it said a pound. But when I checked the receipt when I got home, it said £1.50. But there you are. Um, I've noticed, though, that's often happened at um, B&M. And I've actually had to say this to... Um, hubby as well when he's picked up things and thinking they're one particular price and then when he's checked the receipt he said well that's not what the ticket said and I said don't always go by that um, the other item was actually an extra they were three items on my list um, I was debating about getting from my corner shop but I thought I'll go and be in them because I was going to have a look around but I just could not be bothered it even in there it was warm but I have bought something to put on our dining table. And it is this. Yes, another fake plant. <laughs> and this was £10. And I thought it's a quite a size as well. And it's got this like black slate um pot and with like the fixed white pebbles and I thought that would stand lovely on our dining table due to the fact as you probably know from my previous hauls and everything I don't know over the last month or so I've gone on to buying plants I will get some real ones but I've mostly been getting um I say um fake ones due to the fact we do go away quite a lot at the moment um, but I just thought that is nice. I've only got one real plant in our home actually. But I did was going to have a look at some plants. But I thought I'd wait until I've actually got um, one of the guys with um, the vehicle. So I, I could actually easily transport the plants back. But I want, I've got a few pots. So I'd like to put at least a few plants in there. As I do most um, years anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is laundry and then I'm going to hopefully, because um, I'm going to have some lunch, do some um, fold up laundry and then I'm going to do the front and back lawns I think. I won't get the hedge done although it really needs doing because that's too much hard work in this heat but at least I want to get the lawns done so that is the plan for at least the rest of the day. I may get a bit of crafting done, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is actually laundry I bought um, back. I got it washed, hung out and dried. This is laundry actually um, from the caravan. And as you might know, th this is the quilt cover actually from uh, what is called the sofas at the front, which makes into another double bed. And um, we use that especially in the evenings or whatever to stretch out. So we normally have the quilt there because obviously in the lounge area, it's a bigger sofa. Um, I automatically know um, what has to go back um, to the caravan, like all the brown towels, flannels, hand towels, everything like that. So it's quite easy to, you know, um, distinguish what goes back. But as I said, I wanted to do and um, get that done. And then um, another time I'll get the rest of the bedding done from the other bed. Or I might take some bedding back with us 
um, this next time and change the bedding on the bed. Um, but as I said, it's nice when I can come back, get everything done like this and um, get it all washed, dried <laughs> and packed back up, which is what I will be doing this time. Um, as I said, I'm going to hopefully get this put away. I've just hung another lot of laundry out and um, then I'm going to have lunch and I'm going to then um, get the lawns done as well. That may be it for today, um, but as I said, it's getting really warm and I have my blood test, I've done my basics, so you know, hey ho, I've done what I need to do near enough to today once I've got the lawns done. <laughs>
just made two more cards. Um, this is from a sheet that I got from the range. Um, because this is like for an anniversary. Um, and I've coloured covered the white card just in this paper. But what I've done is I've done it where I folded it over and just put that little flower um embellishment on the back. It is 3D, so as you can see, it is some um, sort of um, raised off the card. And then inside, I've used the frame, spare frame, just to make sort of a frame inside the card. So you sort of can write in there your um, sort of um, whatever you like to write. And I've used a couple of the flowers, which were supposed to go on here, but I thought there was enough raised up. If it's too raised, it will not go in the envelope. So, you know, just to um, decorate the inside of the card. So, as I said, I don't normally fold it over like that, but I thought I'd try something slightly different. So, that's the first one. Um, the embellishments on the sheet makes two, and this is the other one. And I've um, put it on this mini red card, and it just says, um, my love. Um, with X's and O's on. I do love this, this sort of um, embellishment. And again, it's 3D and inside I've just put um, my love and I say that all came with it. And I just had a little circle left, so I've put that on the back. Of just a couple of cards that I've made as I've got a couple of occasions um, coming up in the near future. So I wanted to get this done. <music>